You must be Chrissy. Who the hell are you? Grant Mitchell. Mitchell? Name ring a bell, does it? What do you want? Well, you can start by explaining why my little sister's in prison. No! Oh, no, you don't! No. I haven't finished with you yet. You are not going anywhere until you tell me what I want to hear. Call the police! What's going on? He broke in. I come on you out. I haven't finished yet. I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, that's hardly likely, is it? I said, out. Make me. Quite well with her when her boyfriend jumped me. Big mistake. Grant! He's not her boyfriend. He's my husband. Sharon, get out of it. Your husband? That's right. He was a brother last night, huh? Brother? Well, this is the blow to set you up. Grant! What's he got then, eh? Well, he fancies himself a well white, but he ain't all that. More than you could handle. Same old Grant. What the hell do you think you're doing? Whatever it takes to get Sam out of prison. Sam's where she belongs. Speaking of which, I don't know how you got out. But I should probably get on the phone, make sure you get safely back. Sharon Sand didn't kill your dad. She did. How dare you come in here with Liz, this? Just let us talk to you. No, me. I'm not going to hear it. Just let us... You Mitchells, you're all the same. You think you've got some divine right to just trample in and tread on everyone? Well, I hope your mother's very proud. Looks like Sam's the worst of the lot. Now get out. Now. This ain't over. We'll talk tomorrow. This round two. Easy. You haven't come here for any trouble. Good. Do us that way. Got no shortage of blokes jumping through this for Now I can see why he might be interested, but I don't get why you're so bothered. Look, no one wants to rerun of last night. We're only trying to do what's best for our sister. And you can understand that, can't you? You're wasting your time. You won't get nothing out of Chrissy. Well, that's all right then. Because we ain't come here to see Chrissy. We come here to see Sharon. We just want to talk to her. What, like you talked last night? No. Sharon ain't interested. If you want to help Sam, why don't you get her the lawyer that got you off? If she's innocent, well, you won't have a problem, will you? That ain't so easy when you've been set up. You know what's going on here. How can she not be interested? She's been through enough, and I'm putting a stop to it. What, so you're protecting her? Well, in a shack up with the bird that killed her old man. Come to think of it, she killed your old man as well, or doesn't that bother you either? Sharon! 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 What have you done? Locked up in a room or something? Sharon, I knew, could speak for herself, and she could handle the truth, even when it hurt. I can speak for myself. Now get out, the both of you. This is Sam's life we're talking about here. A life for a life. Isn't that the way it works, Grant? Out! Dennis. So you're not even going to hear us out? What happened to you? I don't want any trouble. I'm not looking for any. Neither am I. But if it comes along, mind me made it start, sir. Just stay away from Sharon. We'll get along fine. Me and Sharon, the history. Let's keep it that way. But she might be able to help Sam. Why would she do that? Because Sam's innocent. Look, after Square, I think Chrissy did it. Why are you protecting her? I just don't want Sharon involved. And why not? So I can't even talk to her. Just stay away from my wife. Jay. Sorry, have you got a problem? No. But you will have if you don't get out of my face. Just leave it, Jake. All right. As long as you stay away from Sharon, yeah? Not until the truth comes out. You wouldn't know the truth if it slapped him in the face. You want to hurt that family? You're going to need some help. All right. Here we 
are then? The dream team. Look at them. So full of themselves. A bit early for a pint, eh? Where are you going? I'm gonna kill him. Hey, you'd be going down to their level. It's the level I'm happiest at. There's two of them, Dennis. You'll end up looking like a mug. Well, like you did yesterday. Moment of madness, it won't happen again. Sit down. So what, we're just gonna wait here? It's a great comeback. Make some fools, get some bodies. We'll smack them all over the square. Why get your hands dirty, hmm? It's a psychological game. We get under their skin. Show them what real power is. How? Well, you all share the same weakness. Sharon. Hmm? Those two have got unresolved issues over her. How would you know? <laughs> the benefits of having CCTV. No, I don't feel comfortable about that. Why? Because it makes you angry. Yeah. Then imagine how Grant felt, eh? His wife and his own brother. Talk to him, plant the seed, and watch them both destroy each other. Doesn't feel right using Sharon to wind them up. Why? She used them to wind you up, didn't she? Hmm? I mean, you were happily married before they turned up again. The only way to get her back is to get rid of them, right? So, keep close to Grant. Find your moment. I'll be in touch. Now there's someone that could do with a slap when you're going to do it, are you? I, I don't want any trouble. Calm down, Ian. Just don't do any ninja moves on me. Come on, let's go, eh? What's the friendly advice? You what? About Sharon. I mean, you've both had experience of her. I mean, one minute she's 100% behind you and then she goes and betrays you, you know what I mean? I mean, what did you do when it all came out? I presume you must have talked about it. No, your business. I heard she was the love of your life, Grant. What, did you just let it go? I and mean, you just took it? Hey, look, you better come home. Peggy's upset. No, hang on a minute, Billy. I think Phil and Grant have got some talking to do. Have we? Let's go on. <clears throat> you know, when I first met you, you were scared of sort of the show. Looks like nothing's changed. Right, you ready? We ain't going. What are you talking about? Johnny can keep for now. I thought we were going to crack some heads. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go and crack some heads. Let's get ourselves nicked. Sam will be over the moment, won't she? Oh, well, it was your idea a minute ago. So who are you going to hurt then, Johnny? No. Dennis, actually. You got a minute. What for? Little chat. Not scared, are you? Self Patrick the flipping motor will you? Is it in the bottle over there? No, it ain't our call cool chat, so why it's Ian's business. Yeah, only by name. I've seen him since Phil's been back. He's virtually working for you. Yeah, the balance has shifted between employer and employee. <laughs> if you had any balls, you'd just do it. Do you mind, gentlemen? Me and Dennis have some sorting out to do. Oh, what was all that about? I don't know. I'm just glad it's contained. Yeah, well, go on, go and have a listen. You're joking, aren't you? I'm going for a pint. Oi, oi, what about the motor? Yeah, well, the uh, keys are in there, Charlie. You're more than welcome to me. So what exactly are you trying to prove? I'm with you. Well, what's with the moody teenager act? I mean, is there a point to it? Who do you think you are? Oh, I know who I am. The question is, who do you think I am? Some bloke from Sharon's past has turned up to sweep her off her feet. Because if you do, it's all in your head. Not that I'm saying that I couldn't, but Sharon's a mate now. And she deserves better than what she's getting from you. You don't even know me. I know you're an idiot running around breaking her heart and she just carries on loving you. You're speaking from personal experience, are you? You see, the thing about Sharon is, she has her limits. Now, they're way beyond your average birds, but they're there. 
And when she reaches them, well, that's it. There's no coming back. Well, it's lucky I don't have a brother like yours then, isn't it? Did you know that Sharon went to see Sam to protect you? What? We made a deal. She visited Sam, I stayed away from you. So you've got nothing to worry about. So stop sulking and get a grip. Don't tell me what to do. Your old man's dead. The murderer's just about to do a runner. My sister's facing a lifetime in prison. And you're writing in the book he's sulking when you have nothing to be jealous about. I have to listen to this. Just wait. Take your hand off me. It's your call. I have a rule. Never take relationship advice from your wife's exes. So you managed to keep an eye on them all day and you didn't try and get between them? It didn't work. Maybe you didn't do it properly. Look, I'm not interested in your chest moves, Johnny. I just want Grant's head split open, that's all. OK, go and do it. Why don't you? That's your idea. And the amateur psychology was your idea. I tried it your way, now you do it mine. It's not my wife he's having cosy chats with. You don't have a wife. And neither do you. Now, don't you care that your wife's head's been turned? Hmm? That's your wife. Got you on a piece of string, Dennis. Playing you like a muppet. What's he doing here? Dennis! Dennis. What do you think you're going? Get out of my way. It's all right, Phil. Let me buy you a drink. Cheers.